All right, folks, here's where the real fun begins in this medley of tunes. We're going to look at the A section um, on Flowers of Edinburgh, and there's not a lot of chords to show you because it's all melody. Um, it starts uh, like this. So you, you could call that a chord, you know, when I, when I end that. It's, I'm using this low D as a pedal for the first couple of, of uh, phrases. You can hear it's all melody until I get to here. Then I have an actual chord. It's a it's a G chord, but I add the C sharp on it. And the only thing you have to really watch out is to make sure you play the bass notes at the right place because uh, when I play that A note there. That's really important because that lets us know, okay, that's an A chord there. There's a D chord and a G chord. So the melody here, that's, that's really what we have to look at, is this. I'm going to play it very slowly. I know that's a lot of notes, but I know you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. So let me show you again, and I'm going to show you some more of the intricacies that I'm doing in this. So I do a hammer on for that that uh, first or that second time on the B note, and then I hammer on to the E and a, couple, and a pull off, and another pull off, and another pull off from that E to D. And then I'm playing C sharp to D and then B, C sharp, A. And then a quick triplet. And these are these are cool if you can get these down. So what I'm doing for that is I'm doing two hammer-ons. I'm hammering on to the second fret and the fourth fret. And then I play, I alternate between the um, on the fourth string and the fifth string. Okay, so I'm playing second fret, fourth fret, and then fourth fret on the fourth string to the fourth fret on the fifth string again. And then there's a little pause, finally. So let me show you what we've done so far. Once you get that down, that part, you've got a good portion of the tune because guess what? It's a typical A, A, B, B tune. It starts over. And then it goes to the G chord. And this is really a beautiful chord, you know, because it's got the C sharp and the B and the D all ringing together. Okay, but you have to make sure you get this fingering for this. This is really important to have this fingering. Some people try that. That can work, but it's, it's not as effective, I don't think, as playing this fingering. So it's real important to get your fingers in place. Notice I'm playing the uh, sixth string open, and then I play the second with it, and the third string by itself. And then I do another pull off from the second fret to open. Um, let's see. And then another little quick triplet. Okay, so let me now play the whole A section for Flowers of Edinburgh for you really slowly. Last lick I did 
It's real important to, to get that really quick triplet in there. It really emulates what the fiddle players do. Now, this tune, I, I play kind of slowly in this arrangement, but if you learn this, learn to do it at a quick tempo because if you play it with a fiddle player, they're going to leave you in the dust. That's what fiddle players do. So learn to play it at a quick tempo, but that's the A section of Flowers of Edinburgh. <laughs> 